Now, let's move on to values. This is, I would say, one of the most important sections. You'll notice how important they are for me because I've got quite a bit of material on them. <laughs> so, I'd like to have your permission if I can. May I have your permission? Because I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go over values from a content point of view. And the reason we spend so much time on values is because what happens is if you change somebody's values, it's possible to set them back in terms of their personal evolution. And that would be bad. So we spend as much time as we do on values so you know how to best help yourself and others. We spend so much of our time on this subject because we want to be really clear how values work inside of an individual. At the same time, to be very, very honest, while we teach this, our purpose is also to do a fair amount of installation. So, if I have your permission, we will consider you listening to these audios as your permission to do installation. Fantastic. So if I may, we will install an intuitive understanding at the unconscious level of values when you are profiling other people. So when you're done, without needing notes or looking in your manual or anything, at an unconscious level, you'll know exactly at what value level thinking someone is at by the words that they use to describe their experience. Would that be all right? Would that be okay? Good. So, if you listen to these audios on values, what I'll do is I'll layer in the information in so that you have an intuitive understanding of what value level a person is at. Yeah? And we'll do it at an unconscious level, and then when you talk to somebody, you'll be able to pretty well go, oh, this person is at this value level, or this person is at this value level. Now, before we even start, let's make something very clear. Value levels are not to pigeonhole people. And they're not to be put in boxes. Because no person is at any one specific value level all the time. No person is at a specific level. In fact, people change values on a regular basis. And when you think about values, we like to say that these are ways of thinking rather than who people are. So, maybe you would like to be able to motivate people at will, yeah? And maybe you would like to be able to demotivate people at will. Not as many people will raise their hands for this one. But what about people who are doing things that are bad for them? Who they either come to you as clients or they come to you as your kids and they need some direction. Maybe there's some value there, yeah? Maybe you would like to demotivate kids at will. Now, there's going to be a few people that will go, well, why would I want to demotivate somebody? But think about that, right? Sometimes kids are motivated to do things which aren't particularly good for them, right? And sometimes people grow old, but not up and stay just as childish. And why I think this is extremely useful, even in corporations, is to get, for instance, all the upper management aligned in terms of values. What if you were the CEO, just to start off with, right? What if you were the CEO of a corporation, and you had sitting in a notebook in front of you on your desk, all of the board of directors, each one individually, their meta programs and values, decision-making strategy, motivation strategy, and reassurance strategy. I wonder if that would have any value. What if you were a lawyer and you were working for a law firm and the law firm had a book called The Judge's Book and in The Judge's Book was each judge in their location with the judge's decision-making strategy, reassurance strategy, motivation strategy, and the judge's metaprograms and values, which a lawyer could feed back to the judge. Would that have any value to the law firm? Yeah? 
wow. I mean, I could go on. These are all things that I've either done or I've contemplated. By the way, the issue of ecology comes up with regards to the lawyers and the judge, right? I think that if every law firm in town had the judge's strategies, that would make the law far more above board than it is now. Now you might say that it would make law corrupt. Some of you might say that it's corrupt now. Do I think it could be worse? Sure, yeah. I think it's an oxymoron, yeah? Lawyers and ecology. <laughs> and values are the key.